guys, it's me, Lei. We all know what this video is about, don't we? Falcon Heavy is ready for launch. I'm very excited about it. If you're watching this video, you're probably very excited about the launch too. And that's why I'm making this video. It serves two purposes. First and foremost, to manage our expectations. We all have great hopes for the launch. I want it to be a total success. And I mean a total success. But the reality is, I'm not sure if it's going to be a total success. Neither is Elon. First of all, I should say Falcon Heavy. That requires the simultaneous uh, ignition of 27 orbit class engines. Um, this is like, you know, a lot that could go wrong there. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, I encourage people to come down to the Cape uh, and see the first Falcon Heavy mission. Uh, it's guaranteed to be exciting. <laughs> so let's moderate our expectations to a reasonable level. That is what I want to do in the first part of the video. In the second part of the video, I want to explain to you how the launch program would be. Since Falcon Heavy is heading to Mars this time, the live show will be eventful and filled with many exciting moments. I want to point that out to you in the second part of the video. So without further ado, let's get started. The first thing I want to do is to manage all of your expectations. Truth be told, we all want this launch to be a celebration. But let's not forget that this is the first flight to Falcon Heavy. Therefore, there are many things haven't been tested yet. And they're not tested because you simply can't do it when you're on the ground. Static fire test is as much as SpaceX can do. Most things about Falcon Heavy launch until this point is theoretical. Let me elaborate on that. Launching a rocket is a difficult endeavor because of many reasons. Dynamic is the keyword here, because everything changes when you shoot a 200 feet rocket into the sky, similar to launching a 20 story building into the sky. While it happens, the weight of the rocket drops more than 50% because of the fuel consumption. The velocity of the rocket reaches multiple times the speed of sound and the air density surrounding the rocket drops almost to zero. On top of that, rocket launch generates tremendous amount of noise and vibration, which makes controlling the rocket even harder. Not only do you have to deal with the rapidly changing weight, velocity, and air density, you have to manage the uncertainty created by vibrations. These are facts. When the rocket goes up, all of these are changing rapidly, and therefore, there is no way for us to test and simulate the complexity of the launch on the ground. This footage in particular is the Tycom 8 launch in 2016. Can you see the intense vibration of the camera on the ground that is miles away? Imagine the vibration of the vehicle itself. Now times three. That is the vibration Falcon Heavy has to manage on the 6th February 2018. So the point is, let's have a reasonable expectation of the launch, let's hope for the best, but be prepared for the worst. Well, uh, let's just hope for the best. The second thing I want to talk about is what can you expect to the live show? It's first of all going to be super exciting. After all, we have waited almost seven years for this launch. But the anticipation is not why the launch is exciting. The real reason is that, well, Falcon Heavy is going to Mars. This launch is not going to be like any other launches. Not only are all three boosters returning, two of them are recovered boosters. Remember the video I showed you just now about Tycom 8 launch? That's one of the Falcon Heavy side boosters right there. So unlike any other Falcon launches, there will be far more separation events. Most notably, the strap-on boosters will jettison, return, and land for the first time. This brings the total landing events to three. Two side boosters will land on landing complex one, the core booster will land on the landing pad, of course I still love you in the Atlantic Ocean. Also, unlike any LEO launches where the second stage only performs one ignition, there will be possibly two ignitions of the second stage in the upcoming launch. After the first ignition that propels the rocket to a circular parking orbit, there will be a long coasting phase of the second stage before it reignites to perform Transmars injection maneuver. Looking at historical Mars launches, this is probably what's gonna happen. Here's a list of all the major events to look for on the launch day. After the countdown, Falcon Heavy will lift off from the historical launch pad 39A. About 20 seconds after the launch, Falcon Heavy will be far away from the pad 
then no matter what happens to it, the launch pad is safe. And this is where, interestingly, Elon will consider this entire mission to be success. I hope, I hope it makes it past, you know, far enough away from the pad that it does not cause pad damage. I would consider even that a win. But we have higher hopes for Falcon Heavy launch, don't we? We want it to be a total success, so this is just the beginning. Liftoff will be followed by side booster cutoff and separation, landing of the side boosters, mean engine cutoff and separation, as well as second stage ignition and cutoff. During the second stage ignition, the core boosters will reroute and land in the Atlantic Ocean. But don't celebrate just yet. After that, the second stage will enter into a long coasting phase to go around the Earth before using the Earth gravity to slingshot the Midnight Cherry Roadster on a Transmars injection trajectory. This will be accompanied by a second ignition of the Falcon Heavy upper stage. When the vehicle successfully reaches the Mars trajectory, the second stage will cut off. I'm not sure if there will be a second stage separation, but if there is, it would happen right after Transmars injection. And if all that I've described, and I mean if all that I've described so far happens according to plan on the 6th, you can celebrate now. Lastly, I want to take a poll. What do you think would be the outcome of the Falcon Heavy launch? Is it going to be a complete success? Or perhaps something might go wrong with one of the landings? Fingers crossed. Let me know in the comment down below, or you can also follow me on Twitter at Lay Creatives to join the poll. Again, I'm Lay. I'll catch you guys in the next one.